Uh, we ever to the show, so I don't know. Like, more, more Honestly, yeah, it's not the greatest track, but like our cars are really good here, so we could actually get in the pass and get to the front. So, um, yeah, confident that uh, we'll be good again and hopefully we can get to the front. You have a really unpredictable spin last year. It felt like, like the way that usually, you know, being on the top of the pad, you're just too close to Bubba. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I just tried to open up my corner and, and get kind of squeeze him out to, you know, help my shape not expecting to get, you know, sucked around like I did because I had never had that happen in an extra car. And, um, yeah, I just was too, too close to him and probably with him in a little bit of a pocket. Which you can't get off. So you think other drivers now like this? I don't ask that. I think with the stretcher on, right? some indie car stuff this past week. So, a couple of miles and a half. Four ten sprints tonight. A cup in a super suit way. You know, dirt late model next week. Obviously, you're used to chaotic schedules. That's in a lot of very different disciplines in a pretty short amount of time. Are there ever stretches like that that are particularly taxing, or is it just all kind of blend together for you on this one? Uh, I don't know, I've done it for quite a while, so I mean, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I get excited about this time of year because I can get to start racing a lot more, so, uh, and then yeah, it's always pretty cool, but I, I get an opportunity to run a lot of good riding cars that not make me feel too much like this, it's really special, and, uh, and to usually be competitive in it is, is good too, so, uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun, fun, fun time. What's the level of excitement for the High Limit event tonight, getting back in the Rosa Sprint? Yeah, yeah, I'm, especially here. Uh -huh, I'm excited about getting back in the Sprint car after the like, uh, like, like a little bit. A little over a month, so yeah, uh, get to race a track that I've never raced at before too. So um, yeah, it'd be fun to get to you know, add, a, add a track. As you now a couple of days removed from the test, is there, is there anything that you kind of had, I don't say focused on, but anything that you know, could you evaluate how it went this week? Like anything new or anything different than maybe what you felt right after? No, no, not really. Um, no, I don't know. I I, uh, I just had a good time. Like it was good to you get out there and uh, just kind of be in a little bit of traffic. It wasn't anything probably super representative of what's going to be real um, come the month of May or especially the race. But either way, just to get more experience and kind of visually see that stuff and, and you know get an idea of what to think about to look forward to um, in a month will be good. You're stuck. You feel like better about like knowing, feeling that you'll be comfortable by the time the race comes to do both in one day. As far as well. as far as like just like okay, I feel like I'm, I'm as far as feeling comfortable in the indie card that you, that like that you're not going to need that there'll be enough time to feel comfortable in it. Like, like that you're far enough along in what you've been learning that you'll be good for. More um, yeah, I mean, I don't think that I could take the green flag tomorrow and feel like I'm ready. You know, after running 40-ish laps uh, the other day. So no, I I still feel like. Uh, there's a ton left to learn, and uh, although I learned some the other day, like I said, I don't, I don't know how it like how it's going to represent itself to racing conditions. So I'm not um, taking too much from the day, but it was just good to, for me, it was good to get out there and like, yeah, we just see what an indie car looked like from behind it, and see what an indie car coming in my mirror looked like, and um, feeling a little bit of dirty air. Um, Pulling, coming up pit lane with cars on pit lane and people on pit lane, like stuff like that was more good than just like driving the car. I guess. So it's, it's all the other little details that um, I just need to hang up before I feel really comfortable. And I don't know if I'll ever feel like I'm really comfortable uh, yeah, before I get to the race. Does it still surprise you that you were second fastest in that in that session, in that session though? Uh, no, because I had a draft. Not that many people were drafting, so. Um, but no, I'll take it because all the media thinks it was pretty cool and fans, so uh, whatever. <laughs> Welcome to Race Face Digital, where you can buy, sell, collect, and trade digital MP4 racing cards of your favorite drivers. Receive a free five card fan pack when you enroll for free at racefacedigital.com, the ultimate entertainment platform. What up? It's Brad Perez. 
uh, click subscribe and watch one of the two videos right beside me. Visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.